Mr. Uh, Sims, there's a history professor at Hamilton College named Maurice Eisterman. He writes several books about communism, particularly in the United States. He wrote a recent op-ed in which he said this. He said, American communists in the 20th century included in their ranks people of talent, vision, and genuine idealism. Their tragedy lay in their willingness to subvert their own best instincts and their devotion to a flawed and irrelevant historical model, the Bolshevik Revolution and the Soviet state. And in doing so... They help set back for generations the opportunities for an emergence of a genuinely American left. What do you think of that perspective? Yeah, I read that article by uh, Mr. Isserman, and uh, I think that, you know, when the Russian Revolution took place, uh, the socialist experience was brand spanking new. Uh, we didn't have uh, the uh, uh, ability to to to... Uh, have the background in uh, building a new society. I mean, you have to remember that the socialist movement is a movement of ordinary working class people. You don't have the the uh, background of of uh, that 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 the wealthy have in ruling and in producing and in uh, distributing and in administering a society. And they're not gonna teach it to you. You know, you have to learn it yourselves. And you, you find that uh, in a number of developing countries, uh, these kinds of problems, when people are kept illiterate, when they're not provided uh, opportunities, uh, 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 when their labor is exploited, you know, you, you, you don't have the, you, you spend all of your time trying to survive. And and uh, so I, I, I think that there's a, element of truth in what Mr. Isserman says in the sense that we copied the Soviet model, you know, because it was the only model. And a lot of other uh, organizations and movements around the world did too, you know. Um, and, and, and of course, there were many positive developments in that experience that they, uh, there were a number of important social and economic and political gains that the working people uh, obtained in, in the former Soviet Union. Uh, but I think that uh, our uh, evolution has uh, led us to understand that we need to create a model of socialism in this country that is based on the United States and not on any other country. We have to take into account world experience, but the but 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 the formulas that we use, the the structures that we build, have to grow out of our own history and our own culture, and 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 the best of our traditions, and and I think that the that the uh, working class and people, uh, the broadly defined, and and that includes uh, scientists and academics and steel workers and nurses and doctors and lawyers and and uh, dentists um all of us have to come to together to 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 build a new uh, productive uh, uh and empowering uh society and 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 i think that uh that is possible so yeah we made some mistakes but uh, we've learned from them and 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 uh uh, but the biggest mistake that uh, has been made was, I think, by uh, sections of the uh, left that during the McCarthy period succumbed to the repression that took place, and 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 and, and, and in so doing, uh, they helped set back the labor movement for many decades. And we're only beginning to see now a revival of labor mm -hmm. that the Republican right is attempting to uh, uh, push away uh, by labeling everything that uh, every advance that is occurring in our country as being socialist. Mm -hmm. And so they tell this incredible tale about Biden being <laughs> a socialist. Uh, nothing could be further from the uh, case.